list of national cultural treasures of the Philippines. Alcaiser de San Fernando, marker of 1762 from Binondo, National Museum, Padre Burgos Avenue, Ermita, Manila, 1762. Deeply curved into this piedra china or Chinese granite marker, details among other things, then revealing explosion policy for non-Christian Chinese traders during the monsoon season in the Philippines under the Spanish colonial period. Artifacts and ecofacts from Philippines archaeological site, National Museum, Padre Burgos Avenue, Ermita, Manila, Pleistocene. 15th century. The declaration are made by the National Commission for Culture in the Ar and the Arts and other cultural agencies such as the National Museum of the Philippines, National Library of the Philippines, and National Archives of the Philippines. Any Filipino institution or person can nominate a cultural property for a National Cultural Treasures Declaration, whether the property is private or public. If the property is private, the ownership of the property is retained by the private owner and shall not be transferred to the government. Assassination of Governor Bustamante and his son by Felix Restoration, National Museum, Padre Burgos Avenue, Ermita, Manila, of 1884. This painting was first, exhi was first exhibited in 1905 at the St. Louis Exposition in the United States of America, where it won a gold medal. Don Antonio Maria Rijidor, a Filipino nationalist, nationalist who commissioned the paintings never took hold of it. The painting remained in Barcelona until 1914 when the painting was brought back to the Philippines by one of his relatives. In 1965, the painting came into the possession of Mr. Manuel Lezatin Garcia, or Gar Garcia. In 1971, it was transferred to the residence of architect Leandro Loxin for safekeeping. The painting was unveiled in 1974 at the National Museum in time for the celebration of Museum Week, and it was declared a national cultural treasure. Balangay's Museum of the Filipino People, Ambangan, Libertad, Butuan City, 320. Balangay also spilled barangay in a type of lash flag boat built by joining planks, planks edge to edge using pins, dowels, and fiber lashings. They are found throughout the Philippines and were used largely as trading ships up until the colonial era. The oldest known balangay are the Butuan boats, which have been carbon dated to 320 after that and were recovered from several sites in Bituan, Agusan del Norte. Baroque Churches of the Philippines, General Luna Corner, Real Street, Intramuros, Manila, 1607. The Baroque Churches of the Philippines are a collection of four Spanish colonial era Baroque churches in the Philippines, which were included in included UNESCO's World Heritage List list in 1993. The churches are also considered as national cultural treasures of the country include, included churches, Church of the Immaculate Conception of San Agustin, Manila, Church of La Nuestra Señora de la Asuncion of Santa Maria Ilocosur, and Church of San Agustin, Pauay, Church of Santo Tomas de Villanueva. Basi Revolt Paintings by Esteban Pechay Villanueva, Esteban Pechay National Museum, Vigan City, Ilocos Sur of 1807. On September 16, 1807, the Basa Revolt, also known as Ambaresto Revolt, that was led by Pedro Mateo, started in the present-day town of Pidig in Ilocos Norte. The uprising that had spread in the northern towns of Ilocos province was caused by the Spanish colonial government's abuses in the implementation of wine monopoly in the prohibition of the man manufacturing of Basa a native sugarcane wine for personal consumption. Instead, Ilocos were compelled to buy their wine from government stores. The revolt lasted for 13 days that led to the execution and death of the rebels. Due to the unrest caused by subsequent revolts by Ilocos, Ilocanos, the colonial government divided the province into two in 1818, which are now Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur. In 1821, 14 years after the revolt, Esteban Villanueva y Pechay 
1787 to 1878 produced 14 paintings depicting the events that occurred in the revolt. It was known as Basa Revolt Paintings and later on declared as a national cultural treasure on September 9, 2009. Bonifacio National Monument, Caloocan City, Rotonda, Caloocan City, Metro Manila, 1933. The Andres Bonifacio Monument, commonly known simply as Bonifacio Monument or Monumento, is a memorial monument in Caloocan, Philippines, which was designed by the national artist Guillermo Tolentino to commemorate Philippines revolutionary Andres Bonifacio, the founder and Suprema of the Katipunan. Camarín de la Virgen, Paris Church of Nuestra Señora de los Desamparados, Santa Ana, Manila, 1720. The Camarín de la Virgen or dressing room of the Virgin is a chapel room located behind the second level of the retablo where the image of Our Lady of the Abundant is placed. It was built around the same period as the Santa Ana Church and has retained much of its features. One can actually view the nave of the church from the octagonal vaulted niche or hornacina where the Marian image stands. Its high art opening is crested with a large silver corona imperial or imperial crown. Below the Harnut Sina is a semicircular gilded platform, which is said to be a part of the galleon that brought the image of Our Lady of the Abundant from Valencia, Spain, all the way to Manila, the Santa Cristo de Borgus, wooden steps plunked the platform where devotees used to climb to kiss the image. Feeding the Chicken Painting by Simon Flores, National Museum, Padre Borgos Avenue, Ermita, Manila, 1890. The oil on canvas painting of master painter Simon Flores depicts the mother and daughter caught feeding chickens in a commonplace setting. The painting is regarded as a transition from the miniaturist school of homegrown portraitist of the 19th century to the idyllic tableau of the American period academic masters. Fort San Antonio Abad, Banco Central ng Pilipinas, Complex A, Mabini Corner, Vito Cruz, Street, Malati, Manila, 1584. Intramuros is also called the Walled City and at the time of the Spanish colonial period was synonymous to the city of Manila. Other towns and arables or suburbs located beyond the wall referred to us in Extramuros, the Spanish were outside the walls. It was the seat of the government and political power in the Philippines was a component dream of the Spanish Empire. It was also the center of religion, education, and economy. The standard way of life in Intramuros became the standard way of life throughout the Philippines. The Manila galleons, which sailed the Pacific for 250 years, carried goods to and from Intramuros, Manila, and Acapulco, Mexico. History of the Manila Mural Painting by Carlos V. Francisco, National Museum, Padre Borgos Avenue, Ermita, Manila, 1968. The most permanent painting of the national artist Botong Francisco, formerly known as Philippine Struggles Through History. The series of paintings documents the history of the Philippines from pre-colonial Tondo to the end of the American colonial period in 1946. International Rice Research Institute, or IRRI, by Vicente Manansala, National Museum, Padre Borgos Avenue, Ermita, Manila, 1962. The twin murals of the national artist Vicente Manansala are a light-hearted narration of Filipino rural life. One is a joyful, joyful pastel-colored medley of the labor scenes of fishing and rice planting plank the two sides while at the center as focal point is a woman bathing a child the second painting is a spectacle of small town festivities on the left is a game of sipa the national sport on the right are two men competing in a carabao race this stretch of canvas is lined with a crowd of people watching Obelisk. two roosters in mid-air cockfight Jose Rizal Monte. 
Horace Newman, Rizal Park, Ermeta Manila, 1913. Formerly known as Moto Stella Guiding Star, the monument is a memorial in Rizal Park built to commemorate the executed Filipino nationalist Jose Rizal. The monument consists of a standing bronze sculpture of Rizal with an obelisk set sat on a stone base within which his remains are entered. A plaque on a pedal front reads to the memory of Jose Rizal, Patriot and Martyr, executed on Bagumbayan Field, December 30, 1896. This monument is dedicated by the people of the Philippine Islands. It is widely believed that, that Rizal's remains, or at least part of it, are under the monument itself. Las Piñas Bamboo Organ, Las Piñas Church, Diego Sierra Avenue, Las Piñas City, Metro Manila, 1824. The bamboo organ is a 19th century church organ with unique organ pipes. They are made almost entirely of bamboo. It was a completed in 1824 by Father Diego Serra, the organ continues to be the only successfully built bamboo organ in the world. Maradika Quran of Bayang from Lanao del Sur National Museum, Padre Burgos Avenue, Ermeta, Manila, undeclared. The book is the oldest known Quran written in the Philippines. It belonged to the Sultan of Bayang in Lanao del Sur and was copied by Saidna, one of the earliest haji from the Philippines. The Quran of Bayang is believed to be one of the few copies translated into a non-Arabic language that is using a language in the Malay family and handwritten in Arabic calligraphy. The book was taken away by the government during the martial law era after the First Lady took a liking on its value. It was then housed in the presidential palace when the dictatorship was ousted. The book was afterwards housed in the National Museum. Metropolitan Theater Historic Landmark Liwasang Bonifa Bonifacio Padre Borges Avenue, Ermeta, Manila, 1931. Also known as Tanghalang Pangkalakhan ng Maynila or more popularly as the Met, the, the theater is a Philippine Art Deco building found near the Mihan Garden near the Manila Central Post Office. It was designed by architect and National artist Juan M. Arellano. The building was one of the main cultural structures during the American era. It is currently undergoing restoration work. The Mother's Revenge National Museum, Padre Burgos Avenue, Ermeta Manila Avenue. 1894. The Mother's Revenge sculpture in terracotta or clay is an allegorical representation of what was happening in the Philippines during the Spanish colonial period. Shown is a mother dog trying to rescue her helpless pup from the bite of the crocodile. The mother dog represents Mother Philippines and the Patriots who are doing their best to save the defenseless countrymen. The pup from the cruelty of the Spaniards is represented by the crocodile. It was made by revolutionary hero Jose Rizal during his exile in the Pitan. Paco Park Cementerio Municipal, San Marcelino Street, Paco, Manila, 1822. The first cementerio built outside the city walls of Manila is the Cementerio General D. D. 
Tilao or Paco, better known today as Paco Park. Located just a kilometer away from Rizal Park, it's a picturesque garden managed by the committee. It is one of the oldest landmarks in Manila, situated in Marcelino Street. So as you can see there, the picture, it is the facade and entrance to Paco Cemetery with decorations for the celebration of All Saints Day, Philippine National Library. The traces of, of creeps along the walls of the park tells a story of its past. Next is San Sebastian Church Historical Landmark, Plaza del Cam Carmen, Quiapo, Manila, 1891. The current structure of the church was completed in 1891. The entire church is made from prefabricated steel that came all the way from Belgium. It is one of the few major structures in Manila that wasn't completely damaged during World War II. And intricate details inside is as impressive as what you'll see in Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. The church can be found in near the university belt. You can imagine how beautiful it is a century ago when you walk from Arch Hidalgo Saint in Quiapo with several ancestral houses on both sides of the street. And at the end is the view of the San Sebastian Church. The location was perfectly planned. The third one is Santa Ana Site Museum, Santa Ana Church, Santa Ana, Manila, 1725. The parish of Our Lady of the Abandoned, also known as the Santa Ana Church and newly declared as the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Abandoned Spanish, Parroquia de Nuestra Señora de los de San Paradas is a Spanish colonial period church located in the district of Santa Ana in Manila, Philippines. The parish was established by the Pav Francisian missionaries in 1578 under the patronage of Saint Anne. The present stone church was constructed by Father Vicente Ingles, OFM, from 1720 to 1725, and was dedicated to its present patron, the Our Lady of Abandon. The revered image of its patron was made in Valencia, Spain in 1713 and arrived in the Philippines in 1717. The church houses two national cultural treasures declared by the National Museum of the Philippines. The Santa Ana Site Museum, located in the convent page of the Simarin de la Virgen for the dressing room of the Virgin. The, the elevation of the National Shrine was declared last January 25, 2020 during the 120th Plenary Assembly of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines. The conferment of the title to the parish church will be on June 20, 2020, tentatively. It. Next is Santa Domingo Church, 537 Quezon Avenue, Santa Mesa, Manila, Heights, Quezon City, Metro Manila, 1954. 
So Santo Domingo Church, formerly known as the National Shrine of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of La Neval de Manila, is the largest church in Man Metro Manila and one of the biggest churches in Asia. It is dedicated to Mary, Mother of Jesus, under her title, Our Lady Ladeval de Manila. The fifth one is Spolarium by Juan Luna National Museum, Padre Vargas Avenue in Mita, Manila, 1884. The Spolarium often misspelled Spolarium. It is a painting by Filipino painter Juan Luna. So Luna working on canvas paint eight months completing the painting, which depicts dying gladiators. The painting was submitted by Luna to the Exposition National de Bellas Artes in 1884 in Madrid, where it garnered the first gold medal out of three. The picture recreates the spoiling scene in a Roman circus where dead gladiators and strip of weapons and garments. Together with other works of the Spanish Academy, the Spolarium was on exhibit in Rome in April 1884. The fortification of Manila at Inter Intramuros in Fort San Antonio, Luna. Current loca location, Malati, Manila in 16th century. Intramuros, Spanish for within the walls, is the 0 0.67 square kilome kilome kilometers, 0 0.26 square meters, Historic walled area within the modern city of Manila, Philippines. It is the administered by the Intramuros Administration, the Intramur Intramuros Administration, a national government agency of the Republic of the Philippines, established in 1979, is responsible for the restoration of the redevelopment of the historic walled city of Manila. The administration boost of an intensive collection of artifacts of a skeletal and domestic nature representing the Spanish colonial period from the 16th to the 19th centuries. The Parisian 